If you make enough damn noise and you shake those damn peasants' cages, you can get results. And they are in tonight. Tiffany Guillory will be allowed to return to her job. Now, if you're wondering who the hell that is, just think back to last week and the week before here on The Factor Uncensored and Jerry Monroe's Trouble Calls and Ass was here. It's the principal at Jack Yates who was unceremoniously booted from her job to the horror of so many parents students and alumni there. Tonight, the Houston School Board voted in favor of keeping Guillory right where some say she belonged in her position. We have the heavyweights here from Jack Yates Alumni Pool here in the studio tonight. Joining us now are Jerry Monroe and Roland Martin, the national talk show host. First of all, Jerry, did you see this coming? Obviously, you have been pushing on the ground from day one. I, I just think that if you do the work and, and, and you stay relentless, you'll get it done. That's something that they put in us a long time ago at Yates. If you want to be successful, do the work. And I didn't take any days off during the holidays. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a Christmas because Guillory meant that much to those kids and to the legacy of our school. So I saw it coming. I mean, just do the work, and if, if I can get the room filled up with the crimson and gold like tonight, <laughs> then, then it, it's a no-brainer. And you got a big time alumni <laughs> to come here, Roland Martin. You spoke before the school board mm -hmm. tonight. Uh, why was it so important for you to come back home to Houston to speak on behalf of this principal? Well, I've dealt with the last four superintendents, and, I, and I've met with them uh, talking about what is your plan for Yates. I mean, it's been a revolving door of principals. Uh, and this is the first stable leadership Yates has had in, a, in, in, in 25 years. It was like, in out one in one out she's been this only since 2018 mm -hmm. uh, and that was critically important and that was important for me and so when I made the investment uh, to create a $25,000 scholarship at Yates uh, it was because finally we had stable leadership who had a plan of action in order to improve the school uh, I was just inducted into uh, the side professional journalist Hall of Fame uh, the National Association of Black Journalists Hall of Fame in December 2021, and I wanted to have, a, I'm going to have an event here in Houston, and I, want, I, I called her, I said, let's do it at Yates, uh, and again, because I wanted to show students how, what you can do leaving J Yates High School. And again, having someone who under who loves the school and who has a plan of action was important to me. And so uh, when they when 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 uh, Gary other told me what was going down, I said, "Yo, I'll fly down. I'll bring my show here, uh, and we'll bring the show." And I made it clear. And like I told them, if you move to fire her, I said, You're, "I'm pulling my twenty-five thousand and the fifty thousand. I was going to announce that uh, I was giving the school of communications. You ain't getting that." And they also wanted me to be at this HISD 100th anniversary celebration. They asked me to be one of the 100 folks. I said, y'all keep that award, too. Mm -hmm. And that's and that's it. Look, I got awards, so I'm good. But the point is, they need to understand you are not going to do this, especially when you can't explain why. <laughs> You're going to fire her in the middle of school year and you still explain why? Yes, and that's a question that many parents, many students have. What's the reason behind the termination? We don't know that, right, Jerry? At least publicly what they're saying and the official reason. No, they, they, they realistically did not want to tell us anything. Um, superintendent had the opportunity to meet with a convicted felon, but refused to come down and meet the Yates community. And, you know, just talk to the kids, talk to the parents. He wouldn't even do that much. And that's wrong. I remember, yeah. I remember when I came in, I called out uh, uh, Terry Greer. We had a town hall at Yates High School, he and I, uh, on the stage there. Uh, and, and, and now you say she's back. Now, here's the deal. They didn't fire her. Now, it doesn't mean she's returned to Yates. So we ain't done yet. So for the superintendent, we fully expect for Tiffany Gillard to be returned to the principal at Yates High School. Uh, I'm also sending him and the board chair uh, an email or a letter making clear uh, that uh, next month I want a meeting with them and the entire leadership. I did the same thing with Sabedra and Greer uh, where I want to know what is the three-year plan for Yates uh, in, in terms of what resources do they need. And see, that's the other piece. And so I use my show. I've done this with Tom Jonah Morning Show, TV One, all for years, to our folks. This is why you got to show up to school board meetings. Right. This is why you got to show up to city council meetings, county commissioners meetings. And you can't just complain about stuff. They got to feel that heat in mass. And so House needs to understand, I'm not done. And what I said tonight was, if you want me to bring my show and put that microscope on you every week, I own my show and my network. 
I can do that. Mm -hmm. Do you want that heat? They might want to sit down and lay out what a plan of action is because it's about those kids and their future. Now, what is, how has Guillory responded? Have you guys had a chance to talk to her? Was she there? Did you give her the news? What do you know? I, she wasn't there. She wasn't there, but as soon as, you know, I came out, I called her and she, she started crying. And uh, her mom was crying. Mm -hmm. And she was very emotional and she was just happy. And, um, you know, I, I've always told her since she got the job that I'm going to rock with you until the wheels fall off. Right. And I, I'm going to do that. She's earned the right to be called a Yates line. And, and, and that's something like we come from the old school. We 87, I'm 86. And that's something they put in us. Mm -hmm. So, but tonight, it, we, we had a little help. We had Cashmere. We had Wheatley. We had North Forest. We had Madison in the building with us. So from here on out, if they attack one of our schools, they're going to deal with all of us. I called her. Uh, we talked. Uh, and she wants to return. She wants to return to Yates. She wants to finish uh, the job at Yates. I'll give you a funny story. So when I first met her, I went to the school, uh, and I always meet the new principal. So she, get, she gives me a card, and I look at her, I said, um, you gonna put your cell phone number down there? I said, uh, I said, principal, I need you to understand something. I don't call office numbers. I call, I said, I, I deal with U.S. Senators uh, and members of Congress. You might wanna put your cell phone. She's like, oh, okay, she'll put the cell phone down. So that, I just wanted her to understand how I roll. And so ever since then, being able to reach out to her, Superintendent Lathan, who should have been given the job as well, exactly. was screwed over. Uh, and so that's, again, for me, it's always about that, that, those direct relationships. I'm going to have your back when you're doing the right thing, and that's what it's all about. All right. Roland Martin, Jerry Monroe, thank you both for joining us here on The Factor Uncensored. They are not done.